Hey guys, welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see other games, hit subscribe. Right, we're going to do a little wardrobe tweak, and then we'll get right back into it. Seems that Ventra and uh, Drek needs to talk to me. So we'll go visit them. Let's go talk to people. You know what we saw back there, right? This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. Yeah, he's definitely a threat. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to. Take the collateral damage. Yo, it's not my style. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe, but I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly, each and every time. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. Well, he wasn't expecting us. We're the new variable here. He can't predict what we'll do. That is an advantage, so long as we play it right. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at him, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, Let's make sure he stays down. I agree with you, Drag. <laughs> right, let's go talk to Ventra. Hey, Cora. That vault on Aya was so gorgeous, so alive. And Meridian might be the key to the others. No wonder the Archon wants to control it, like everything in Helios. Any word on the Asari Ark? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Still deciphering the Ark's last known course from the flight recorder, and making sure we're ready for a fight. Tell me about your career. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. I spent years watching pioneers go through the Arcturus mass relays. Off to glory while I stayed behind. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. We needed a fresh start. We needed to start over somewhere new together. Or as together as we could. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? Alright. How was your time in the Asari Commandos? What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in a sorry space. Is it a sorry space peaceful? Who'd pick a fight with the most powerful species in the galaxy? Themselves, usually. Terrorists, cults, rogue Ardat Yakshi. People demanding a withdrawal from the Citadel. 
The Asari were spacefaring when our Roman Empire was new. Didn't fix all their problems. Sometimes you need commandos for that. Got any war stories? After four years with Asari commandos, you must have some great war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Wow. Yeah, anyone special? Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. Really? What about now? You're not technically military anymore. Can't get anything past you, can I? Alright, talk to you later. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Sarah. I'd be devastated. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left and I was... Well, her age now. That must have been hard. You raised your sister by yourself? That can't have been easy. Had to. I waited forever for our father to come home. He never did. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. You're too tough for that. Well, I'll make sure you're fine. We're a team. I'll make sure you're always there for Sid. Thank you, Ryder. That means a lot to me. At least Sid's older now. Maybe I don't have to worry as much. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? Got enough to make some more. Uh, we're in the Govacram system. Let's go ahead and explore it before we hit Kadara. Deploying probe. I found something.
Five to eight. The poultry remains of a cat drop ship. Whoever destroyed it, though, is scavenging its parts, but perhaps there's something they missed. Alright, let's explore everywhere. Shiny world. Oh, it's made of cobalt and boron. Probes launched. I found something. Okay. No water or minerals of any use. Just a floating rock. Anomaly on sensors. Really? Oh, frozen methane, okay. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Ooh, can always use that beryllium. Alright, let's alright, let's hit it, Kadara. Zone by order of Sloan Kelly. She was head of Nexus Security. Be ready for anything and keep comms open. Should hear from our resistance contact soon. So do. Coming call. Patching it through. There's been a development regarding the spy Venturev. Rendezvous with Crawler's song. Your contact's code name is Shayna. Shayna. Got it. Crawler's song. That's one hell of a welcome sign. Exiles have stepped up their game since their revolt. Not 
too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station with nothing to show for it. We should be allies. Maybe we can get them back on our side. We know they can fight Cat. Our supplier's waiting. Come on, we're gonna be late. Do I even want to know? Nope. <laughs> you won't get away with this. <laughs> My people won't allow it. Not for us. Leo Dara would have been slaughtered by the cat. Ungrateful prick. Should have paid your protection fees then. And Sloan wonders why people join the collective. Say that again. I dare you. How are we supposed to survive out there? Not my problem. You're no better than the Nexus. Running a fucking charity. Jeez. What are you doing no. to these people? Nothing they weren't expecting. Port's got two rules no guns and pay your protection fees. You got guns? So what's that you're holding? Outcasts don't have to abide by the rules, just enforce them. You got a problem with that? You can join these assholes. Pathfinder, it will be difficult to find the spy if you're barred from the city. Guess that's true. What was that? Nothing. I'll be on my way. Creep. Okay. Like you're waiting for someone. Cheers. I've got time for a drink. Shayna, but you can call me Reyes. I hate the code names. I was expecting someone more. And Garin. <laughs> the resistance pays me to supply information, among other things. So you're a smuggler? Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloane Kelly, leader of the outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. The people are calling for his execution, and Sloane? She's a woman of the people. Huh. Not how I would have put it. Dress it up however you want. She's a criminal. You work for the Initiative. Sloane was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. Everyone has a price. Maybe she'll agree to a deal. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloan. I'll talk to the Resistance. How do I contact you if things go south? Hey! You gotta pay! Son of a bitch. Keep the change. Always do. How's there any change? We can just like, never mind. I mean, it was just data, right? <laughs> How is there any change? I just tipped her. That's all. Sam, 
Tell me about Sloane Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. A hothead. Great. Jeez. This place is less sterile than uh, Nexus. Defenses here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. What? Should I curtsy? That's quite the throne. Should I bow? Kiss your ring? Very funny. So, what brings a pathfinder to our humble port? Venterev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. Sure, I'll be honest with you. I need him so I can infiltrate a Ket flagship. You've obviously got no love for the Ket. I'm doing you a favor. Kadara is an Angaran port. They want Ven dead, and I want to keep them happy. This is bigger than local politics. You don't need Ven. You need his intel. Talk to him before I put his head on a spike. Okay. I can work with that. See? No reason we can't be civilized. <laughs> I should have brought refreshments. Wow, that was, e that was easier than I thought. Give the Pathfinder access to the holding cells. Yes, sir. And I thought that was gonna be harder. Don't feed the prisoner. Don't touch the prisoner. And the only thing that passes between you two are words. Got it? Absolutely. I won't cause trouble. Ven, 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 Ven. You seem to be in a bad way. What do you want? The Archon's ship. Where is it? This a new interrogation tactic? Sloane's getting lazy. I don't answer to Sloane. I'm a pathfinder with the initiative. The one who rescued the Moshai. I know who you are and what happened on Vold. News travels fast. You're well informed for someone behind bars. The rumors hit before I was captured. That's why the mob wants me dead. Even deserters hate me. The Archon's ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do you still have it? I buried it before I was arrested. Should still be outside the city. Thanks for the intel. Don't you want to know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshai? Sure. Tell me. Enlighten me. We're losing the war against the Ket. And still, Ephra puts my brothers and sisters in danger to protect a useless old woman. So you took things into your own hands? I made the call he wouldn't. The Archon only wanted the Moshai. I thought if I gave her up... 
I didn't know what the Ket were doing to my people. Still makes you a traitor. Ephra still entrusted the Moshai to you, and you betrayed them both. I did what I thought was right. And I'll accept the consequences. Pathfinder, the communicator is buried outside the ceasefire zone. I suggest bringing a squad. Vetra, Drac, are you back from... whatever it was you were doing? Yep, our completely legitimate business deal went off without a hitch. <laughs> Benefit of bringing a Krogan along. Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. I need to go outside the city. <laughs> oh, what the hell? If you would like to find I could provide an analysis of the deceased. He's Angaran. There are multiple lacerations on the face and abdomen. Another body? I don't get paid enough for this shit. There's been more than one murder? Seven by my count. But that's all I know. Perhaps Mr. Vidal would have more information, Pathfinder. I'll come back for that. We gotta get out of here. Actually, let's check out the market. Find something better. Check the console. Real good. I'm looking for an edge. Out here, you'll need it. If you've got an issue with me, relax. I wouldn't hurt a potential customer. What they got for armor. You need to learn respect, Rogan. Brought a few more grunts. I a squishy thing like you needs protection. Got the best armor in all of Kadara. I'll take Old a look. Claim. Let's see what you got. Everything's on the console. Right. 
Research Center. Oh, okay. Taking, taking Ventra. That. What do you know about the situation out there? You might say I'm warden of the Badlands. It's not a place for tourists. Tough beyond these walls. Hey, I'm tough too. I can handle it. A lot of people say that, and then we never see them again. Badlands are Kadar's dumping ground, like a giant prison. When you're too nasty for even this place, we kick you out there. You mean, exiles who get exiled? Yep, worst of the worst. Some of them want to be there. Got secrets to hide, I guess. The water's toxic. Sulfur springs are everywhere. Have a nasty habit of catching fire. Yeah, <laughs> so have at it. Knock yourself out. Great, sounds like fun. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Well, we know they got monoliths here. Are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Wonder how many drunk idiots have fallen in there. Yeah, all good. Alright, Sam, show me what we've got. Kadara's water is dense with sulfide minerals, the oxidation of which produces toxic streams and lakes. Never liked swimming much anyways. That is fortunate. Even the Nomad's shields cannot withstand the water's corrosive properties. The presence of monoliths suggests a vault that might reduce the acidity. However, outlaws, pirates, and other unsavory exiles inhabit Kadara's hills. The further you travel from the mountain, the more dangerous it will become. Good to know. Let's get out there. Alright, here we go. No wonder it's toxic. The shit's on fire. An exothermic reaction from the sulfuric acid coming in contact with water in the atmosphere. Do you miss the Turian homeworld? What is it? A Turia? You know it's Palavin, and you know I don't. What about yours? It's dirtball, right? <laughs> exactly right. Let's do this! Do what? We 
can't leave the outlaws to claim this tech. Claim what tech? Has nothing to do with us. Nice work. All right, let's keep riding. We're checking out that camp, right? No, we're not. We don't have to. We're here for the data, and then we're, we're going to do the vaults. I think that's it. Stick to the right, let's keep going. The outlaws built some kind of tech. They'll be looking to defend it. Noticed one of your jets not firing properly? Might want to take a look at it. Shit. That's why it feels like it's dragging a little to the left. And hey, thanks. Took the wrong. Take this right. Hey, Scutter. Get any closer and I'll hit you with a corrosive bomb. Killed two looters today already. You want to test me? Whoa, hey, we're no outlaws. We're friendly. Then come prove it. Activate an automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your health system. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Got an outlaw camp ahead. Start digging. Hopefully there's a way down. But we're gonna need a really big drill. We're on our way, right? Yeah. This area could be viable for an initiative outpost pathfinder. However, for any long-term success, you'll need to find a solution to Kadara's water toxicity problems. Exiles are also a problem. Sloan will shoot down our shuttles before we can start building. What about the charlatan? The Collective's gaining power. We do not know the charlatan's identity. Sloan may be our only option. The doll could have been inside. Okay, trade is up to six hex jerks, two optical guides, and why can't I just use credits again? Worried about refunds? Do you want Batarian capacitor dumps for your blades or not? Okay, okay. Well, it looks like it's around Half here. Right then Turan came to bury the pet transponder near this location. Uh, there's someone in here. Found it. Looks pretty jumped. The transponder's power source is drained. So let's juice it up. Turn it on, then Gil can work his magic. 
Once complete, this should provide us with the Archon's location, and in turn, Meridians. Easy. See? We're halfway there already. Oh yeah, hard parts totally behind us. Now that that's done, perhaps you could speak to Reyes about the murders in Kadara Port. Why would I do that? Let's check this place out. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Car of This Point. Name's Malix. Looking for a place to hold up? Got some open beds. Food and clean water cost extra. I'm just no, looking thanks. around. Look all you like. Just don't make trouble. What's your story? How'd you end up on Kadara? Followed Sloan from the Nexus, but couldn't pay her protection fees. No fancy port for me. She forced you out? Those are the rules. Can't pay the fees, can't live on the mountain. First few months were tough. No water, no weapons to hunt. I really thought I was going to die out here. Sounds horrible. I can't even imagine. Yeah, and I'm one of the lucky ones. I found other exiles. Put the strength in numbers theory to the test. Thus, Karib Disappoint was born. I better get going. See you around. Oh man, this... This planet, it looks like there's like a lot to do. My main worry is about the cat and stuff like that. So, for right now, we got we came we got where we came from right here. Our next move is to take care of the the vault on this planet to establish a little outpost. That's gonna have to wait. Alright, what's it up? Get this thing to go. Writer, why an emergency meeting? I didn't call it. I did. Got some disturbing news while we were on Kadara. There's some tension at the Krogan colony on Eladin. It's bad. Tension among Krogan? You don't say. I wouldn't waste your time with this if it wasn't important. We need to go. I agree. Nakmor Morda made herself overlord of the colony. It's weird. No. Our priority is the Archon. We have to remain focused on his next move. Jal's right. Let's just listen. I know dealing with so many unknowns is frustrating, but we need to hear each other out. Well, as long as we're pitching stuff, I overheard outlaws on Kadara talking about activity in the Ramav system. No, that's the system where the Turian Golden World was supposed to be. Ramav? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field with mining ventures run by criminals. I hear Eladin's pretty rough too. Roving scavengers with nothing to lose. Crap. No one fights harder than people with nothing to lose. But now that we have the transponder, we're so close to finding the location of Archon's ship. Let's stay open-minded. Our goal is to create our home here. You never know how something might fit in. Anyway. Get Callow the nav points for both Eladin and that potential Turian Golden World. We want all our options ready to go. Hey, I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned or anything. Meeting adjourned. As you were. Alright, that's gonna do it for me today. I'll talk to you guys next time. See you around the galaxy. Peace.